Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, I'm Erin of Playing Life with Erin and I'm so excited you're here with us. And if you're returning, hey, hey, how have you been? Thanks for coming back. Okay, so it is Tuesday, February 6th. So yesterday was like a catastrophe of a day. Weston um, was homesick, just a cold, because of course, why not? Um, Spencer went back to school yesterday. Um, mask on, all that stuff. She's got two more days of mask wearing and then she is free. Um, so we survived COVID case number three in my house um, within the last three months. And Weston still hasn't gotten it, thankfully. I've tested him several times, it's just a cold. Um, and here we are. So yesterday I also woke up with like the worst migraine. Um, I swear when I sit there and I'm like, I haven't had a migraine in so long, I get hit with one and it did not go away. Like I was on the couch from the time I got up till the time Joe got home and then thankfully he came home and he did the dishes and all that stuff that I normally do while I slept for a little bit. And you know, I like seven o'clock at night went away. So no planning got done. I did do some journaling um, and then I did some back journaling this morning because it was just, you know, why not? So we're gonna be planning for the week of, let's see, January uh, 5th through the 11th and I believe the 10th is Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year. I don't remember now, but I know it's this week. It's either Saturday or Sunday. Um, I will double check and I'll probably put it, type it up on the screen somewhere here. Okay, so we're gonna go with Coffee Monster Co, of course, and um, this beautiful Lunar New Year kit that she has, it's the Year of the Dragon. I'm really excited. Westam is born the Year of the Dragon, so it is his year. And I did get the large doodles because I'm going to use these in my daily pages. And I did actually get the Hobony Two Weeks matching kit. So stay tuned for that. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do it now so you don't forget. Hit the little bell notification so you're notified when any of our new videos come out. But especially this one, if you're interested in seeing me use this kit in the Hobony Two Weeks, um, definitely hit that notification bell. And if you like this video or any other video on the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it really helps the channel and we appreciate it. So thank you so much. Okay, I'm really excited to use this kit. It's so pretty. I just love these colors. Um, and also because, yes, it's Weston's year. Okay, so, sorry, I'm a little like, unorganized right now. My mom called when I was starting to film and then my dishwasher started going on. I had it like set um, to go off like on a timer and then I ran out of time. So here we are. Okay. I think the colors that I'm going to use for this are Tombow 772 and Tombow 553. I think they'll look really good with it. Um, and what else do we need? I need my pen. Oh, my Tombow. I actually kind of, I found a pen holder to like keep my go-to stuff in front of me. So it's working out pretty good. And what else do I need? I need my ruler. Okay. So let's get to this. And the way that I have been doing this is I've been putting a little graphic up here and I really love it. I really like this dragon. So we're going to do this one. So cute. Actually, I don't want to take my tab off. Oh, as I slam my chair. See, I should not have a chair with wheels on it. I have come to that conclusion. <laughs> so I am still working on my desk area. Um, and thank you for everybody who commented on my video. Um, I really like this setup. I'm liking how my desk is set up. Like I said in my video though, there are a couple of things that I'm still like kind of tweaking here. Um, my chair is one of them because I don't work well with chairs that have wheels on it. And it's actually really funny because um, Joe sat down at my desk the other night and the chair did not move. When I sit down in the chair, it like rolls into my cupboard right behind me. And like, I just saw, I just looked at him. I'm like, how come, how come you didn't move? <laughs> so I think it's me. I think that um, I'm, I basically, I sit on chairs like incorrectly. Um, I always have, I always thought as I got older, I thought it was because of like my back bothering me, but then I just realized, um, watching Spencer sit down and the way she sits, I'm like, I think it's just the way I sit. I think it's like a sensory thing. Um, so I usually sit with like one of my legs. 
I sit on one of my feet, basically. I don't suggest it um, because it's not good for my ankle or my feet or my knees, but here we are. Um, but I've decided that I think I'm going to get the, um, hold on. I'm like rearranging my list here. Vitamins um, and then audiobook. Hold on. Um, affirmations. I'm kind of doing this a little bit differently. Visualization. Um, move body. I should have wrote go for a walk because I want to try to start walking during the day, even if it's just for like 10 minutes. Journal. Eat well. And I think that's all of them. Yeah, okay, I just did it in a different order and I feel like that's super messy, but oh well, I can't go back and do it over again. Anyways, so I was looking at this chair for Spencer, actually, <laughs> coincidentally. Um, she has like a, right now she has like a loft bed and underneath it is like her base. She calls it her base. And she's starting to kind of outgrow it a little bit. So I've been looking into different things. She's a very small room. So we were looking at like this really nice loft bed that has like a desk and a cabinet underneath. Um, it's like a wraparound desk because girl likes to be crafty like mom. Um, so definitely needs the extra workspace. But I was looking at a chair that had no wheels on it because also like mom, she falls off chairs and they like roll out from underneath her. So I started looking at them for her, but then I'm like, you know what? I think that I like one for me too. <laughs> so I think I'm going to get us both one. It's like a wide, it's a big butt chair. I don't know how else to describe it, but it's a, it's a wide seated chair. The only thing I'm worried about for me is, um, the back because I also am older than Spencer, obviously. And, um, I'm afraid that it won't be a good enough support for my upper back. So we'll see. I have to look at it again, but I think, here I am hitting my thing again, because I'm not sitting correctly. Let me try to sit correctly. Let's try it. Ugh. Okay. So I think I'm going to get that. Um, and also I want to find something for Spencer and for myself that like is a wipe clean situation rather than, um, like cloth because Spencer's desk chair, she has a pink desk chair and oh my God, I went in there and I completely sanitized and cleaned her room um, Sunday. And I was like looking at her chair and I was like, ew, <laughs> this thing needs to be shampooed. Um, so I think I want to get something that has like, um, like a, a pleather type situation and something that could be wiped clean. And I think that would be better for her and for me for that matter. Because my issue isn't necessarily it gets dirty. My issue is uh, Poppy likes to lay on it. And Bo. And Bo actually is a short-haired cat. But he sheds a lot for a short-haired cat. And Poppy, um, they both have like light hair. So I'm getting like cat fur on my butt. <laughs> because they both like to lay on my chair. So I think something that's like faux leather or whatever would be better for both of us. So I'm going to try it. Um, I might get like a neutral color. So this way, if it doesn't work for me, I could just kind of repurpose it for Spencer. Um, and then go from there. But I also saw a lot of you guys had suggested like a footstool underneath the desk. And originally I was thinking about, I was looking at like gamer chairs. So like, here's what's happened. I'm like looking for gamer chairs for Joe and for Weston because they both game on a computer and I think that like it'd be good for Joe especially because he does actually use like an ottoman like poof type thing underneath the desk while he's gaming um so I was looking at gamer chairs that had like footrests on it and that kind of thing um and um well I forgot what I was gonna say oh right so I was looking at those um for him and then I started seeing some that I like but I'm not sure like I don't have a ton of like I have bars on my desk so I'm not sure how that would work for me but I think um I think that it would look good uh my desk would look good with 
Let me go back a second. I think it would work. The gaming chair would work for Weston and Joe. Um, I don't know if it would work for me in my desk setup, but I did find, um, I was scrolling Instagram, um, probably when I shouldn't have been, but I found, um, I found this account actually, Co Cozy Gamer something, and she has like this, um, it's an ottoman poof type thing in the shape of a mushroom. Looks super cozy. And she also has like a, um, but she had a gaming chair without like the footrest on it. So I was actually, let me see. I think I want to do it. I've been using these washies down at the bottom, but I think I might go back to. No, you know what? I like it down at the bottom. We're going to do it at the bottom. I'm going to move my computer out of the way. Anyways, so it was really cute. This cute little like um, cream colored mushroom. It's like a mushroom shape. And I just got it at Target. So I looked it up. It's not terribly priced um, if it's a good one. And because like we have like outdoor ones that we use and they're um, they have like beans in them. So like they kind of They've kind of gotten a little disfigured over the, the couple of years that we've had them. So if this one's a good one, it's $100 on Target.com, I might get it. I think that it would work well with the big butt chair. And then I could sit with my legs up or I could sit Indian style and just kind of give myself like a little bit of extra, um, like an extra overhang. And I think it'll look good underneath, uh oh, underneath the desk as well. So I might do that for my setup and then get Weston and Joe the gaming chair, get the big butt chair for me. And then if the big butt chair doesn't work, I can give it to Spencer. And then um, if the gaming chair works, then I'll just get the gaming chair and return the mushroom. I don't know. <laughs> Lots of different options. Oh, I'm going to save these for when I use them in my Hobonichi weeks. Let's do our happy moments. Oh, I think I filled it out last week. I apologize. I did not do a planner flip last week. I just kind of ran out of time, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. <clears throat> I had filmed my desk tour and I did a flip through for January and then I did February's monthly and I just ran out of time. So I did not do that, but I did do, um, I think I did a reel on Instagram. So if you're not following me over on Instagram, head on over there. We're having a blast. Go check it out if you're interested. But I will be doing back to my like regular, regular scheduled programming this week. And we'll do our planner flip. Um, this week, all right, so February's boring. If you watched my, my plan with me, I have like nothing going on. I did get my nails done. I ended up going on Saturday, which I'm really grateful for because, um, what do you call it? I had the migraine yesterday and then Weston was home all day. So that was really nice. We have nothing else going on until next week. So they're supposed to be dance tonight and karate. I don't think either kid are going because Weston's still, he's still really snotty, but I'm going to put it down anyways in case he does go. <clears throat> and then... Let's do, I think I'm going to use Monday for my to-do list since I didn't, um, I didn't really, I didn't do anything. I did nothing yesterday. I'm really happy that Joe, um, Joe was around when he came home. He did a lot of things for me. So we'll write in migraine and then we'll start our to-do list over here. So I have it for the week. Um, I have a few different things that I need to get done. Nothing crazy. Um, trying a new morning routine. Um, I always feel like I'm trying different morning routines, but it's tough. Um, I see things like online and I'm like, oh yeah, I could do that. And then I'm like, no, I can't. Um, and half the time I'm like sitting there convincing myself that I have to get up and do something when I suppose I don't. Um, I need an opinion. So I get up really early. I'm up at like five o'clock in the morning for reasons unknown. No, <laughs> I'm up that early because um, my, my well, Weston gets up super, super early. That's first of all. 
he's up at the crack of dawn, which we've talked about this. I wish he wasn't, but he is. And that's okay. It'll come in handy when we're in high school, you know. But um, I also get up because I get nervous that Joe is not going to get up for work. Um, he's gotten much better with it over the years, but he's not a morning person. Um, I have basically become a morning person and a night owl um, accidentally. <laughs> so um, I burn the candle at two ends. But anyways, I'm up early. Um, I get up around five and I've had it in my head. And like, you know, if you've been around for a little while, we were doing the miracle morning for a little bit and that was great. There was nothing, there's no, nothing wrong with that. Oh, these are so cute. Um, I want to use them, but I don't want to use them. So I might, I might save these anyways. So, um, we did the miracle morning for a little bit, Joe and I, and that was great. I really liked it. Although I did find that maybe um, meditating first thing in the morning wasn't the best idea for me because I was kind of falling back to sleep again. <laughs> but um, I'm going to put this in. I need my pink highlighter. Do I want pink? That's blue. So yeah. Let's see. I started work at 9 o'clock this morning. So I'm going to put this down. So yeah, so I was getting up and I was meditating and doing all the, the Miracle Morning. We were doing Qigong and things like that. And it was great. I absolutely loved it. Um, but part of me is like, do I really need to get up and do something? Like when does my day start? So I guess my opinion is, so like I said, I get up at five o'clock. Um, and then, you know, I get the kids ready for school and drop off and all that stuff. I get back around like 8.30, sometime in there. So when does my day start? Does my day start when I wake up? Because I feel like I get up, I have some coffee, I watch some of the news basically so I can see the weather. And then once it starts getting really heavy, I'm like, I'm out, peace. Um, and then, hold on, I wanna see something. What color was February? I think it was like purple, purple and yellow. Mm, okay, I was looking, oh, I got, I have a package that I haven't opened. So let me open this, because something I need is in here. Um, so yeah, so I watch the news, I turn it off when it gets a little too heavy for me, and then I, um, wait a minute, where is my, oh no, and then after I do that, I get up and I kind of turn the light on at my desk and I sit and I have some more coffee, because there is not ever enough coffee, and then I... There they are. I got little car emojis. Um, oh my goodness. I'm not thinking straight. Okay. So then I sit and I do my visualization, my affirmations. I'll do a little bit of journaling. I've been recently, I've been wanting to get back into my bullet journaling. Um, I don't think I'm the best at it. So it's one of my goals this year to like practice and, and be better. Um, but yeah, so when does my morning start? Is that when my morning starts? Like, cause so I have like two ways of looking at it. Do I get up and like, that's kind of like my relaxed, quiet time. Um, and then I get the kids ready for school. I do breakfast, all that stuff for them. And then when I come back, is that when my time starts? I don't know. Like I'm having a hard time because I think I need the other, I need someone, I need your opinion because what ends up happening is, is that I'm kind of talking myself out of having to get up and do anything super early in the morning. And I'm like, no, it's fine. You don't need to do something that early in the morning. But do I? I don't know. Um, I'm sure it is like personal preference. Um, but I've also been trying to think about like, what is my work day look like? Somebody had left a comment um, asking if I went back to work. Um, I haven't gone back to work. What This to me, like creating content, it's my job. Um, it is a fun job that I absolutely 110% love doing and I'm so blessed and grateful that I can do this. Um, but this is like work. So I'm trying to um, treat it as that, if that makes sense. Um, when I owned my own business years and years ago, probably like eight years ago now. Um, you know, I had a business plan and I had all the things. So last night I was thinking about um, setting up some goals 
and then the action plan that goes along with those goals. And I start like, I started thinking about, well, what time do I start work? Like, what are my working hours? What days I work certain days. So like I usually work Monday and Tuesday, Thursday and Friday. And then Wednesday is my day to like run errands. The days that I'm working, I'm also doing mom things and housework and things like that. So like when I'm trying to like set working hours for myself. So between this time and this time, this is when I have to do X, Y, and Z. If I have any editing to do or filming or anything like that, um, that's when I get it done. So does my day start when I come back from taking the kids to school? And then like, do I get ready? You know, things like that. Um, to me, that seems like what I should do. <laughs> because even though I'm up so early, I take that time to kind of like just be quiet. Um, I try not to get on social media, but um, that's a work in progress. And then um, I do things like, I said, like I get up and I kind of journal a little bit. Sometimes I'm really tired, so I don't feel like I, I might listen to my audiobook instead. I always get my journaling done before I start my day, if that makes sense, even if it's after I've taken the kids to work. Up to work. I was reading the sticker. After I take the kids to school. Um, so where do I, or when do I start my day? Like, I guess that's just, that's my question. When should I start my day? Do I start it when I'm getting the kids ready? I feel like it would be good for me to take them to school, come back, and then start my day. But I don't know if I'm just like kind of lying to myself to make myself feel good and be okay with not doing anything first thing in the morning. So I don't know. Let's see. I did some filming. Um, I did a real vlog. So again, if you're not following me over on Instagram, go check it out. I'm trying to get better with my reels and making sure I get them done. Um, I have to do a bunch of editing. So I did that. I also filmed um, a, a journaling session that um, I did a little back journaling because I wasn't feeling well yesterday. So I did some back journaling yesterday and then I did um, a Sunday's journaling. I don't always do stuff like that, but I had some extra time this morning. Um, I have not procrastinated all morning been feeling really good. I don't take mornings like this for granted, especially after uh, I had a migraine all day. So be on the lookout for that. Hit that little bell notification in case you are interested in that. You'll be notified when that goes out. It's just going to be probably just some music. Uh, it'll be silent while I'm just journaling. So if that's something you're interested in, um, go ahead and hit that bell notification. And let's see, we are filming um, Hobo Cousin. And I will be filming my Hobo Weeks today. It'll be nice to get back into that. I did not do anything in my Hobo Weeks last week because, I don't know, I just didn't feel like it. So I didn't. <laughs> and then I need to do some editing because I'm going to have all this content that needs to be edited. So I'm going to write that in big letters. Edit. Not my favorite thing to do. Um, only because it gets a little time consuming and when I'm sitting there sometimes I start to fall asleep. I don't know why. It's like my eyes. I need to get some better blue light glasses, I think, or actually start wearing them more. Maybe. I'm not sure. I'm always like, oh, it doesn't affect me, but it does. All right. So tomorrow I usually, Wednesdays I usually go out with my mom, but I think we're going on Thursday. We haven't quite finalized that yet. Um, but... So maybe I'll wait for those <clears throat> and then we'll figure out that on the midweek check-in only because she <laughs> just wants to make sure I do not have COVID, which I don't blame her. Um, I'm going to put in karate. I don't know if Weston's going to want to go. He certainly is not going to be forced to go. We'll see how he is feeling after school. Um, and then I need to, let's get some boxes down, I guess, over here. Why not? We have budgeting that I need to get done. So I'm going to use these pretty lanterns. I love these. So cute. I definitely used um, the kit last year. I think it was the year of the rabbit. <clears throat> so let's see. Budget meeting. Trying to figure out all the things. Joe and I, we have a family reunion trip coming up over the summer. And then we have some medical bills. Yay! That need to be taken care of. I'm so excited. Gotta love those medical bills. And then I want to put this down for 
my market orders because I am so off my game. Um, this last week it was just like trying to go pick up market orders and then having Joe go get it and it was just not my normal. All right. So I really feel like I want to put in my time, but I'm not sure what we're doing. I prefer to go, I guess on Thursday and I don't need anything. Like I could put in a small order for a couple of things. Like I need my creamer. I'm addicted to the brown sugar oat milk creamer. Um, I forget who makes it, but I'm addicted to it. So I'm definitely gonna need to put in an order for that um, to pick up tomorrow. So I'm gonna put that in here, put in Target, order. Okay, so I will not forget that. Um, I might need to switch my audiobook. I've been sitting here kind of like, I don't know. I'm struggling. I've been reading this, listening to The Six Keys by Jillian Michaels, and I like it. But uh, it, I think for me, for an audiobook, it takes me a minute to get into it, maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm struggling, though. Although I did struggle with The Atomic Habit, if you remember. And then I ended up really enjoying it. So that, you know, I have to give it a chance. Let's see. Yesterday, I journaled last night, and I ate pretty good what I did eat yesterday. Other than that, I did nothing else. So that's all that gets checked off for, for yesterday. Today, oh, and I did my vitamins. Today I took my vitamins, did my affirmations, my visualization. I have not moved my body, but the day is still young. And I did journaling, and so far I've eaten well. My meal plan this for today is pretty good. So I know, pretty confident that I will be eating well. I did do my vitamins yesterday. Now for sleep, Sleep was like 10 hours yesterday, except it didn't happen like all at once. So I slept a little bit in the morning after Spencer went to school, but then like Weston kind of woke me up. He didn't realize I was sleeping and then it's really hard for me to sleep when he's home because I can hear him and like he's old enough or he's fine if I'm sleeping, but I'm still mom and I still sleep with one eye open. So but I think in total, I probably slept about seven hours. And then last night was my normal six, which I was really surprised. I was really surprised that I was able to sleep um, considering I slept so much during the day, but that's, that's how you know a migraine takes you out. All right, so yesterday was, we had egg sandwiches last night because um, that's what Joe made. Tonight, what am I making for dinner tonight? I'm making a Mediterranean. Mediterranean dish. I don't know what it's called. Tomorrow is um, Casey Diaz. I don't know how to spell that word. So we're going to try it. It's probably not right. Thursday. Oh, Super Bowl is on Sunday. I'm going to have to write that in. Um, I'm cheering for the Chiefs just because I don't know if that's allowed. I gotta ask Joe. <laughs> His team's not in the Super Bowl this year. Um, but I think I'm gonna go for the Chiefs just because they're my face, so why not? Um, but I am going to I wanna make pulled pork. I'm gonna make it on Friday during the day, and then we'll do pulled pork mac on Saturday and pulled pork nachos. For Sunday. We'll see if maybe my mom and dad want to come over. So Thursday, I don't know. We'll probably do some sort of chicken. Um, I'm trying to think if I had anything planned. I don't think I did. So I'm just going to put in chicken because that will just be what I need to pull out of the fridge um, and get that taken care of. And then this week I need to, I have to call the vet. Call vet. So they canceled Bo's appointment. It was supposed to be Friday at 9.40, but then I just got an email and a text um, confirming for Friday. So I need to call them and double check because they called me to cancel and they needed to make it further into the month. And then I was talking to my neighbor and I'm like, well, maybe I could just go to this particular um, pet store. And they do, I, I don't know if it's an appointment or if it's like when they do like their, their rabies clinic or whatever, I might be able to just take them there for like a quarter of the price. So I need to figure that out. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to, um, follow up 
with the Children's Hospital for Spencer's test. Um, what else? Oh, I need to get Weston's sparring gear. Or at least talk to them at the dojo. Because I'm not sure, like, so he it's a requirement he has to do a sparring class for him to get to his next belt. But I don't think it's going to be something he's going to, like, continue with. So I want to see if they have, like, something he can just use for that. And then Joe's like, yeah, but he's going to be using it. And I'm like, yeah, well, what am I going to do? Because I skeeve everything. So, but I think that'll be all right. And then what else? Oh, I have to pay for it. I have to pay dance. Pay dance for Spencer. Okay. They actually canceled dance last night for the classes. The people had classes last night because I guess a lot of the dancers are sick and they have a competition coming up. So they want them to try to like be healthy for that. So let's do, we're going to make my migraine pretty. Why not? Right? We're just going to write in migraine. I always try to make sure I write it in. Um, so, I know, oh, I had a migraine. Okay, so that was the last time. I knew I had one on a Thursday. Usually, I get migraines on Thursday. So, yesterday was different. I wasn't expecting to wake up yesterday with a migraine. Uh, <laughs> but here we are. All right, and I'm going to do some lunch. So that leaves me with, I'm going to do Friday. I'm going to highlight it. We're going to say that work starts at 9.30. On Friday, though, I'm not going to work that long. I want Fridays to be my short day because I like to be able to relax before. It's like the calm before the storm, before like everybody's home on the weekend. So I want to be able to like watch some TV or read or whatever. Um, I've actually... Um, just purchased a game on uh, the Switch. And I was pretty excited about it. I bought it on Sunday. You know, I tell, me and Joe, we take the kids to the arcade. And I love playing. It's a Walking Dead game. I love playing it. It's like a shooter game. And him and I play. And I'm like, where are all of the, um, like, shooter Switch games? Like, you know, for zombies and stuff. Because I'm kind of obsessed. So, we found Resident Evil 4. Five, I think it was has two person but I have a feeling it's not going to be like the shooter game that I think it is because I used to play Resident Evil and I don't think it's going to be the same so we shall see I need to find some time to play it I might try later on today we'll see <clears throat> all right so I'm actually going to put these here <clears throat> excuse me because I tend to pick up my mom around the same time like around nine o'clock and that would be like when I'd start work anyways so we're just gonna put these oh if we can get it down I'm gonna put these down and then this way I can just write in what it's gonna be whether I'm picking up mom or I'm working I feel like oh no there is nothing going on <laughs> we can just put some things in this is what happens in the summertime summertime is like really boring because I don't do anything like there's not activities for school and stuff so this is what this week reminds me of. Let's see. Um, Weston has chess. Actually, no, I don't want to do. I'm gonna do this color. I feel like it's too close to that. Uh, let's see. If I can get it down. Get chess, and then let's see. I'm going to put this back down, but we'll put in a sticker for a Super Bowl. I have no idea what time it starts, but let's do this one. And we're going to put it in for like, let's see, what's three? Let's put it around here. I'm sure it's later, but if my parents do happen to come over, it'll be around that time. And we'll just pencil that in. That's right. I don't even know what number Super Bowl it is. How bad is that? I just know it's the same game that happened four years ago. So. Super Bowl. What was what Sunday? Okay. 
I'm not sure how much of the game Joe's going to want to watch, but all right. And I've got edit. Oh, and I need to answer. I answered some emails, but I want to, uh, I'm just going to write it in because I already did it. I've been really trying to sit and focus. So it's really hard for me to focus. Like I've worked from home for a really long time. Um, I've like worked, I think I said this, I worked my um, flooring business for a bit from home with two babies on my lap. I definitely have like the incentive to sit down in the discipline, but I don't know what motherhood did to my brain because I have a hard time sitting down and concentrating. I tend to procrastinate. However, I did notice I think I've said this before, I created like six listings for Etsy and I did it all while I had music on, I had my earbuds in and I I actually listened to the same song over and over again, didn't realize it, um, but it helped me stay focused. So um, I've been trying it. I've been putting on like relaxing music or focus music and it's actually been working. I've been sitting down, I've been answering my emails and I've just been doing the things that I have a hard time concentrating doing. Um, It's tough because I don't like the TV. Um, so I don't really like to sit and watch TV for too long. Um, I, don't, I don't like to have it running in the background. So when I'm working, it's completely quiet. So it's been nice having some music on and having my headphones on. It's been nice. And then I've been actually doing it while the kids and Joe are home. And it actually keeps me focused on what I'm doing. Um, so. Just want to write down how bad it was. All right, this is like a pretty empty week. I feel like, let's do, I want to save most of these for my, um, my daily pages, but, hmm, they're so cute. I love this one. I think I'm gonna use this one. We'll save this dragon for my daily page. I just kind of want to fill this in because yesterday already happened. Cute. All right. And then I want to color this in because my work in progress didn't really get too far. <laughs> so we're just going to give it one bar. One bar for yesterday. All right. Um, did I forget anything else? I don't know. I'm like kind of, I'm going to keep everything out. Um, my mom's going to talk, talk to her later today. I told her, she's like, well, I prefer Thursday. And I'm like, well, we need to decide because I need to figure out my life. But I know for sure I will have to go to Target. So I will write that in. Um, let's write in Target pickup. So I can get my creamer. And then this way, if we have to wait till Thursday. I did do some shopping on Saturday and then like Thursday last week. So I don't, I'm not really running on anything except milk. Milk and creamer. So that'll be tomorrow no matter what. All right, guys. I feel like this is very underwhelming right now. That's why I really enjoy doing the planner check-ins because then we get to see it as it starts to fill in and it's probably my favorite part of planning, like filling everything up. I think it's the greatest, but okay. So far, so good. I think it's looking all right considering we don't really have much going on in February. I do need to make sure I don't have the vet appointment on Friday. So I'll make sure I call them today. <laughs> all right. Guys, let me know what your thoughts are down below. If you were born the year of the dragon, let me know. I love to hear from you guys. Like I said, Weston is a dragon. Um, Spencer's a horse. She a horse? Yes. Spencer's a horse. Joe's a rat and I'm a rooster. So here we are. I don't know too much about the Chinese zodiac, but um, I always like, I was fascinated to find out about the rooster. So I don't know anything like too much about the other zodiacs just my own if that makes sense um but i did hear when um i was pregnant with weston and i was told he was going to be born the year of the dragon that it's like um like health and prosperity and that he would be super smart and wise and all those things so from what i did hear and the way weston is now i would agree with that um but yeah and also the way a rooster is i would say it's probably similar to me 
but I don't know. Anyways, okay, let me know down in the comments what your thoughts are. And like I said, if you want to let me know what your Chinese zodiac is, if you know it, let me know. I'd love to hear from you guys. And um, like I said earlier in the video, if you are interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do that now so you don't forget. Hit the bell notification so you're always notified when we come out with something new on the channel. And if you like this video or any other video we've put up on the channel, go ahead and give it a thumbs up because it's super helpful for the channel and we super, super appreciate it. I don't know if that sentence made sense, but here we are. Okay. Um, and that's going to do it. So until I see you again, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.